Okay, today I am um, recovering some old uh, pulleys, the rubber uh, direct drive or friction drive uh, pulleys. And so they get this uh, dent in them after they've been sitting for a long time. And I do have some on order, but um, it's going to take a few days to get here, and I have this uh, white 55 that I'm ready to get going. The only thing it needs is a new pulley. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the rubber from all the way around the pulley. Slicing it down because there's a groove right there and in that groove that rubber sits and I want to leave that rubber in there because I'm going to cover this with leather and I'm going to use uh, that rubber as the base for the leather. I let these set up for about 24 hours before I... Uh, so that's taking them off here. So that's done. All the rubber's taken off. So I'm going to drop these into the um, ultrasonic to uh, to clean them up because the the metal is just filthy on all of them the metal is just a mess and those will come up all nice and shiny after they're done so what I did is I bought this leather strap on uh, Amazon I think and I it was I think a whole yard long and I've used a bit of it and I use it specifically for uh, recovering these uh, pulleys so what I do is I'm bending this into a circle And then I take one of the pulleys and I kind of guesstimate how big a round I need to make it. And I think right there will give me plenty of extra to work with. So I'm not a leather worker, so I don't have any leather working tools. I'm just using the stuff that I have available. And then, after I do that, where's my little pot of water? Oops, sorry about that. have a little tray of water that I use for stuff like this, but I can't find it. But I reorganized everything yesterday, so <laughs> so um, I'm just going to use some of my drinking water. And I'm going to put the leather in the water and soften it up. 
I'll go ahead and strip this one down while we're waiting. So these, I found them on uh, eBay, you know, and they cost about seven to ten dollars a piece. And I think it's worth my time to do this. I feel like I like to kind of reuse stuff if I can. Pretty good. A little gasket on the end of it. Not anymore. As with anything else, your prep work pays off. I think I'm going to cover this one. It's the least. Okay, so let's clean off this area right here. Almost lost a little set screw. Okay, so that's soft enough. So now it's uh, more pliable. I usually run these under hot water and uh, so I didn't give myself a whole lot of room here so I gotta make a really deep wedge in order to make that one work so then I just start shaving off this side I do the underside probably need to change out that blade where's my little screwdriver a bunch of my screwdrivers disappeared overnight I think I have like a screwdriver gremlin or something this is not the one I want to use
sharper. So the better I get where these, the pieces of leather meet up, um, the less that I have to uh, um, sand off when it's all dry. So let's see how that fits. So I use, um, Golly, can't even think what these things are, but these are what I use to hold them together after I put them, after I glue them up, but I think I'm going to have to test it with one of these since I didn't make it quite long enough. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and make two more pieces of leather. This one might be too small. <clears throat> then once you got it, you can start tightening it up. I'm just doing this to test fit before I glue it because I'm just hoping that this one isn't too short. Need a bigger screwdriver. It might be too short. Yeah, it is. I don't think that's going to work. What I'll do eventually is thin it out on the bottom and then make it work so I don't waste this piece of leather. But since I already have two more going, I'm going to go ahead and do it and do it right so you guys can see.
Obviously that one might be just a little bit too long. It's just amazing how So I'm not going to cut any length off until I get my wedges to meet. is not going at all like I planned. So I use uh, this leather and suede glue. I like that one better, it's bigger. Okay, let's try this again. I think I still want to shave off a little bit off that back end. Oh, no wonder I'm going around the wrong way. I'll take a little bit off the inside and I think I'll be ready to glue up. Some glue on here and it's a little messy yeah, that's the inside I'm 
put then start screwing as I get a little bit tighter it'll be easier to manage Make sure I tighten it down on the right part of the pulley. other pulley might be better because this one doesn't want to tighten. They've got a gap. So Folks, I've never had this much problem. I've done probably a half dozen of these. But then I sit down and go, oh, let me show you this cute little thing that I do. Then it becomes a problem. <laughs> so what I normally do is I let the uh, leather dry on the uh, pulley. And then I take it off and um and then glue it i probably should have done that here too because i got a bit of a mess And all the glue that's on here, I will, um, you know, I'll clean it up with uh, a Dremel. So it's on. So what I'll probably do, because I don't think this glue is going to hold because I put it on when the leather was wet, is I'll take it after the leather dries, I'll take it apart and, um, and then re-glue it uh, to, the, um, to the pulley. So the reason I wanted to use that bigger one is because... I uh, like to hold down all the surfaces of the leather.
that way they're flat all the way around. And so um, there'll be these little indentations in the leather when once it dries. And then I'll just put the pulley back on the motor and take a sanding block and sand down the leather. Just takes a minute. Um, so that <laughs> is how I um, uh, put new leather on a, uh, a wheel, a, a sewing machine motor pulley. And I got to move it over. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take it off. I didn't have it moved over far enough. So that's how I do it. And it's easier usually than this. So thanks for watching.